So what are we going to do? Exoforce. Exoforce. What is it you want to ask, Daphne, totally? Well, it was a Lego's attempt at making anime. A team of four color-coded young attractive teenagers uh, who were fighting evil. That sounds really familiar. Uh, it was pretty good though. Uh, it had a lot of comics and sets, but the second, second wave was so bad that they cancelled almost immediately with only one page for their third year and small comic in the magazine that no one has been talking about, except me. Of course, I'm going to show the figures first. The uh, first one is real, exclusive to the exclusive to the set, with some pretty cool shiny armor printing, but also a camouflage shirt that uh, looks like... Uh, uh, Here's his angry face, insert taking a dumb joke, uh, moving on. Uh, next person, his name is Taken, and you know who that is. Your teacher, remember to study for the exams. Uh, anyway, he's just a master guy, he actually made Link the robots who they are fighting against in the ter 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 Terminator-like fashion, uh, minus the time travel and love. He has, so he has a sonic plastic hair that I'm pointing out, because uh, on that, that's because Rio has uh, rubber anime hair that is exclusive to this to this theme, and uh, and underneath is not gonna make the same joke. Grow up. Last is their Mindroy, who is a gimmick in this wave. You can move him like any Lego figure you saw before in your life, so I'm uh, not gonna say much about him. But look at the spread. That's big. Oh. Uh -huh. And here's the vehicle itself. As you can see, it's pretty big. In uh, comparison with the minifigures, as you can see, it has a little detail. The most unique thing about it being the big, big, Big wheel, make, making it actually more more of a more of a uh, mo moving uh, tank than usually than usually had with uh, if you know extra force with their previous tanks. Uh, you definitely not you definitely notice how they cut my nose. You definitely notice this spot right here. Why is it like this? Because that's a spot for this mini droid. As like it's a gimmick because. It's actually a, a part of the set that you, that you uh, detach, like a, a, like a mini droid, as a, like you know, uh, uh, like a, like a, like a, like a, a pet or a hawk that you send to scout. This one having a gun, so like a scout with a weapon. So you put it here, and then you insert it to the hole, and there you go. It's a part of the set. Very visible, yeah. But it's a part of the set, but you can detach. So pretty cool. Uh, you can also see how how it's how it's spinning. But also you can uh, you do this kind of spinning. It can 360. And you saw the, saw this thing right here, which also by the way all of it is stickers because it's a 2008 set. So there was there was like no printing. So uh, stickers and you saw there on the back because check it out. Oh, that's right, it's detachable, and this transforms into a jet, a jet, that's right, into a jet, I can't believe my nose is so itchy, I'm sorry, <sighs> and it looks like this, pretty chunky, looks more like a, a and you remember is micro fighters, the ones from Lego Star Wars. Yeah, it looks, it looks uh, pretty. It looks, it looks pretty. Looks pretty. Looks pretty. Looks pretty similar to something like that. 
with its size. It definitely has a lot of going on as well, like uh, like you saw, like, like you saw, you saw uh, those uh, techniques there, and there's those stickers giving giving a uh, more more of a hidden detail with the transformation, which is pretty cool. The only negative about this, I have to say, is that is that you have to remove this droid if you want a pilot to sit inside it. That's so tight. That's so tight. It's a use set. Uh, that's so tight. Uh, and you have to uh, and you have to uh, remove it if you want to fit minifigure. And also you have to detach the windscreen if you if you uh, want to see the cockpit, which it doesn't really have much. All it has is just this handle, and that's about it. One of the one of the negatives of it. Is that it's ve it's very hard to fit the minifigure in figure in it, so I definitely had so I had to skip it because it would it would it would seriously take me a long time and I don't have enough space for the, for a recording to show the entire thing and I'm pretty sure no, you don't want to like you want to see the set and my review of it and not me because just fumbling around with it, in it, like it's current year grow up again, I'm, and don't get offended that's just what I'm saying, uh. I do also want to point out this is some really nice detail that's probably very hard to see. I'll, I'll try all. Even though it's all in English as for anime, for being anime, there's like a lot, of, a lot, of, uh, a lot of stuff like a spy drone, like a spy, like like a, like a jet, like a like a, like a, a hawk thing that I said before. Like there's there's uh, like there's all 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 the small info. Like people like you know like all the Lego fancy people who don't know uh, they all hate stickers so much. I personally don't mind them as long as they, you know, give more detail to the set, like some some interesting patterns, uh, some kind of kind of a, a robotic detail, and here we being being all this all this English English text next like here here saying right there, uh, more say, more or more of it saying right here, here, right here and uh, right here. Here also being in uh, this vehicle is a model AT20. For those who don't know, it's basically the same as Iron Man's uh, multiple marks. It's kind of the same, kind of the same thing. Also, Exocode. As a fun fact, it's supposed, it's supposed to unlock something, but nobody was uh, bothered enough to uh, to uh, to archive uh, archive the website with all the codes, which I find kind of dumb. Like. Fun fact, this is the only LEGO theme alongside, I guess, Ninjago, I think, or maybe even not, uh, that has its own Wikipedia. Like, every single LEGO theme has a, the same Brickpedia, but this one has its own Wikipedia, Exoforce Wiki. And to, the, and to this day, no one knows what those codes were exactly showing. I mean, my, I, my guess is really that all it does is probably just add this additional bonus lore to the vehicle, so that's about it. But still, kinda dumb. Cause I never even knew about it. Like back, back, even me myself, I barely grew up with it until I got interested later on. That's just like a small fact, fact for you, for you people. I might talk about it later, later on. Uh, not gonna, gonna, not too much to say, but about that one or then the, I guess also the, uh, the back sticker, which I like, which I like. It's so much. It has some nice, nice two thousands detail. You know more. Smoother, more like with shading and stuff like that, and not cartoonishly simple nowadays. Uh, also, much here, also, um, also, uh, 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 first ball joints, those two ball jointed, I guess, guns. Which uh, I'm guessing them because, because this, I'm guessing because fun fact this set was this, the, this uh, last year was very rushed, like there's like that, like that was like one set that was for this final week year. That was that was uh, was a uh, cancel before before uh, before it was finished. Like it was like almost done. All the stickers were done yet cancelled because it was so rushed that they just had no time to even approve this set. So so if you all knew about the two thousand eight Exoforce, there's like uh, it's like only three uh, bad guy vehicles and four good guy vehicles. And the main body doesn't even appear in this year. He only appeared in in first two years, two thousand six, two thousand seven. Uh, kind of sad, but like, but anyway, this I guess, uh, I guess because it's I guess because it was rushed for some reason. The, those uh, the only uh, the only guns as uh, all the guns had like this uh, transparent neon, 
this one, the, those one has transparent red. I'm guessing, I guess it could be as like some kind of big gun, like a very big gun, like more powerful on the back, I guess. Still, I'd say it looks dumb and prefer when they just, just use transparent green. I don't know why they even use transparent red in, in the beginning with. I guess like a, some kind of test thing. I don't know much about Lego when it comes to test things. This this thing can still spin. Another fun thing is like it moves. This thing moves because of the, because of the building technique in inside. With because the being being a two thousand set, so of course you can see the holes pretty easily. Like all the horror. Also, the, the, also this is actually a, co a, a mini vehicle. We mean you can sit in there, and the and it has a hole, big hole, like. This is the best proof as to why the set was rushed. This is some more stickers, of course. Uh, here in the beans, kind of some kind of basically uh, lights. Here, more lights, which uh, I don't know if you can see, but they actually have, some, have a little bit of shading. Like, yeah, like uh, let me try. To, let me try to show. Oh, yeah, they have like a bit of like a, a shading. Like you can see this kind of greediness. Like it's not smooth. It's Kind of greedy, like I can assure that this is actually a part of the set because in 2000s they're using this kind of half tone shading. Which uh, and the best example that I have is basically the Marvel and uh, Marvel and and DC Comics promotional promotion pro, 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 old uh, promotions when it had this kind of kind of a black dot uh, pattern. It's kind of something like that that Lego was using using in like a, a very uh, like in like all the 2000s and very early, very late 90s. And then they discontinue like in 2016 because they haven't seen them to this day. Besides, I don't know some main figures having some kind of a uh, very big uh, dot pattern on their uh, sports shirts, which kind of sad because I was because it was like my favorite kind of art style, like very smooth and stylish, like uh, being not just being gradient but actual dot uh, half tone, uh, like that's what's called. I don't know. And uh, also, also this here. Let me actually show because it's hard to see. Uh, let me, let me show you. Oh, this here is uh, the only inclusion of the Japanese text for some reason. This of course more more here it's saying like plasma powered, like, like uh, plasma powered, uh, as powered. Then also uh, here also another uh, plasma powered. I don't know what that is. And this Japanese text, which actually is in translation on it. It says uh, here, Doku. Dokokiri. I don't know how to say it in Japanese. I'm guessing it's like I saw anime, so it's like Dokokiri, I think. And it says poison mist. Also, reason why I have double sheet? Because it's a 2008 set. So the stickers were shambles. Those new I, I, I had to buy a special sticker sheet just for this set from America. And I don't live in America. I live in Europe. And wow. And it was pretty cheap. No wonder, because Ninjago Bay there. Yeah. Anyway, uh, so here you can here you can uh, fit a minifigure, of course. So you put uh, the other character that fits in, uh, uh, Mr. Kaken, uh, Sensei Kaken, I should say. But at the same time, we have Sensei Wu, so it's kind of hard to say. I mean, they both look similar. So you just put him here, and that's about it. Pretty weird looking. I mean, now I mean this kind of wind windscreen doesn't ex doesn't exist anymore. As a now nowadays we have the same one, but with the uh, actual hinge molding in it. I kind of like this one more because more pieces, the more fun rather than now it's simpler, more uh, more parts. But still, I still like this. I still like how this one actually is done. Like here, you can you can have even more more a uh, more a uh, texture like warning plasma cores and engine some kind of uh, danger extreme heat. Like it's very very industrial looking, and I honestly really like it. Like more text, more interesting stuff to read. I mean, nowadays being this kind of uh, size of text doesn't exist. It's just replaced with a uh, very uh, very uh, straight lines, and that's about it. Which kind of sad because I actually like to read. Like I'm like it, it makes me even really more interesting about the whole you know world. Like like Ninjago tries the same, and get, but he doesn't have, have as much of text for some reason. I mean, they still have text in their own language, but yeah. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I also want to show these instructions as I like they came in too. I like it because it has like this 
anime like outline you know, of all this fo Photoshop editing to like show light and stuff like that. Like it like, like it, it gives it gives an actual anime anime feel. Of course you can see those uh, kinda not nice looking faces uh, more on that later. Um, and here also there's like a, a actual artworks for the characters' faces, kind of like how later ex uh, later Ninjago had done painted fa had done pa painted face appear on the side. And here as a basic to all the characters that come in the set, which I'd say it's uh, it's it's pretty cool since it's actually like sty sty stylized, a uh, nice like version of of Lego characters. Like you, you, you the aren't just uh, drawings drawings of Lego characters. So like uh, how realistically they will look as like humans. So like how do you turn this into a real thing? As a, instead of you turning real thing into Lego with licenses, you this time do the opposite. That's honestly pretty genius, and I kind of wish they they kept doing it. I mean, they could do it at least, at least with Lego friends. So I probably shouldn't complain. Uh, other than that, also, there's also some uh, promotions. Let me just, let me just see because I didn't actually check them. Like here, there's uh, artworks for all the characters. The only the only promos were just uh, Iron Drones and Devastators. I don't like how they look. Like why they have mouths. Also, and also some other characters. My favorite being being Hayato. He's like a sp like a smug looking looking bastard. Uh, also, this so here shows shows the same gimmick. And you can spin uh, the top, and you can remove the drone, and the only poster. That I that also as a as a, like I guess they were planning something as a, like there were people capturing like I, I don't know. And also Kaken as a, like he was in because captured by robots, but because the story was only like two like one page and like an actual comic and one for a magazine, they just came and put him in the set as a, like oh you can just save him and that's about it. Which is kind of shame because it was like no final battle. Really, like all I had is some random a uh, com combiner model with the two 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 only a uh, bigger uh, robot sets, and that's about it. If you even had had the main bad guy from the previous two thousand six two thousand seven sets, like here we have Lego Club, rest in peace, and uh, two thousand that the uh, early two thousand uh, win promotional thing. Uh, second page, I don't think has anything. Uh, yeah, it, yeah, it all all it has just the whole uh, who's fighting who. Because they they rush the whole thing. All they have is like uh, one robot against another. This uh, tank against uh, the only set that I don't have, and I definitely wanna wanna review it one day. And two robots against one thing. That's kind of shame. <sighs> what can you do? The two thousand seven film set was sets were so bad that <sighs> here we are. So, final thoughts. Well. The set itself is pretty, pretty, actually pretty good. Like yeah, there are some holes, like especially, especially the bothering uh, hole right here. Here, like it's definitely very annoying. But there's a lot of uh, very unique gimmicks that later on Lego kind of, kind of, uh, kind of didn't do as as many. Like you can definitely, like if some of you who know like Star Wars, you probably recognize this kind of vehicle being, and this kind of top being somewhat similar to the main characters uh, character uh, ship. The one character from uh, Knights of the Old Republic, and then like it's semi similar, but it's never really having this idea of uh, two vehicles in one thing really uh, with that many or kind of gimmicks. Like yeah, I think they kind of do something the same with some other sets, but most of them being just licenses. The only original thing being just Ninjago City and Friends with some random uh, side thing that's or some random app gimmick or a copy of Ninjago. Or sometimes both, like Nexonites. So I'd say, as a, as a, uh, I'd say, this set, I, I, I give it, screw it, I give it nine out of ten. I, I, as much as the, the late 2000 stickers were horrible because they shatter over time to the point where you had to buy a couple new sheet, as an adult one just stick out and you try to fix them, fix them by, by like making them stronger, and then they just crumble, crumble like a dust, crumble like a cookie. But it's sticky, and you have all these pieces, white pieces everywhere, and it's and it's just and it's like glitter. It's, you can probably get sick from right? just accidentally inhaling, especially if you if you're a little child. But like I said, it is a very fun set of all, of all the gimmicks and uh, and stuff like that. My favorite definitely being those mini drones because they're like mini mini robots that that that, that look pretty adorable. So I'm definitely say you should definitely not get it on seven sets. 
Like I, like I just should copy this, not get them. Except like, I don't know, Sentai Tower for the exclusive, uh, exclusive minifigure that only comes in that set. Uh, maybe also an, uh, maybe also another set, set also from 2007. that being the giant robot with with a shield and a long gun. That's definitely another thing that you should definitely get. I mean, there are definitely few, but overall the main sets that were advertising were so simple, bland and flat, like a paper. That really, I'm not surprised that this entire thing failed. Like, Le like Lego back then was just trying so much, so hard, and then they were just rushing. Like, oh, the, the first uh, sets were uh, so, uh, first wave so so well. Let's make the second one, but simpler, because that would definitely sell. Yeah, let's make a sequel where everything is just more flat, like a like a pancake. And, and people were definitely gonna buy it. Like first we had like a giant good cake, and then ne and next time it's still making an even bigger cake, which is gonna make it a pancake, a simple flat pancake with like a few I don't know pictures on it, and that's about it. Wow, perfect, perfect. It definitely not, it's not gonna fail. Definitely not. I don't know if the next of us definitely being. Uh, it kind of feels like it should be advertised for teenagers because it's anime. An anime is like for teenagers and not for like, uh, I don't know, I think seven year olds. Like, yeah, but I'm pretty sure that sets were like for seven year olds. So, it's really, doesn't really fit. Like, they should actually make it like a real plus thing as, a, as a, it's an anime. Like I said. And also, they should have to try to do a TV show. Like, Rangers, Bionicle, and Ninjago are still member when successful to this day. I mean, not in Bionicle, but, uh, uh, but like Ninjago. It's because they had, it had its own TV show that was back then pretty good. Well, after the, after the 2014 ended, then we'll just probably go into just new film and the disability. You know. But I'd say I kind of wish they could bring back Exo Force. Like, I, 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 I miss the kind of art style of stuff where like was like mixing different styles together, like like an anime and all like recreating anime in form of like, in, like Lego, like different art style faces. Yeah, they look doesn't look doesn't look that good, but I'd say it was definitely worth a try. Like some of the other faces that I got actually made were pretty good. And this is why I'm making a remake. That's right, I'm bringing back Exoforce on LEGO Ideas. Look up LEGO Exoforce Green Paradise, because I am there, and I want you to give it the support, because I got them grew up with Exoforce when it comes to drawing, like I actually can do draw because of Exoforce. And I wanted to do something better than cost you just being an Injago copy, because I actually was a fan of and I'm just... Uh, <laughs> I just wanna, I just, you know, I'm just a big ninja, a big Exo Force fanboy in a world where no one just cares about Exo Force anymore. Like, like, I mean, you probably know, you, you can give a dislike if, if you don't like my opinion about talking about much about Exo Force, but I don't mind if you don't like Exo Force. I don't mind if you're a big fan of Ninjago. I still think it's a trash, but I'm gonna go hate you. Gonna, you should not hate me or for having a different opinion. Everyone has a different opinion, and that's okay. When I was being attracted to little kids, then that's that's something you should just go to jail immediately. I don't care, go to jail immediately. You have kids, no. So uh anyway, set nine out of ten, worth getting, yes, and goodbye.